Howdy y'all! Barracuda update time. As you can see, it's moved places. Yeah, kinda got sick of wiring for the moment. Most of that's more or less straightened out. But, we've gotta get some hard parts on this thing. We gotta get this old eight and a quarter rear end out. We gotta get our eight and three quarter that we assembled, I don't know, a couple months ago, put in the car. So, let's get started and um, we'll walk you through some of the disaster that's currently in progress. Alrighty, so we have brakes disassembled. That's good. Had to do that because, well, e-brake cables. They're still in functional condition and we're going to be reusing those on the eight and three quarter. Got our U-bolts off, shocks removed, all that good stuff. Brakes disconnected. They have, you know, been making a mess on the floor as always. And I think that we can, using these two jacks, lower the car down onto the jacks and then get our shackles unbolted from the frame there and I think we can just lift the car up off the rear end right and let the springs fall down I don't know we're about to find out if it's gonna work though guys all right guys so let's see if we can get these jacks lined up this just might work all right I think we might have a chance of this working. Jacks do go up high enough. And in theory, um, I mean, it won't roll off the jacks. It probably will. Yep, fell off the jack. That's good. We have accomplished kind of what we're looking for there. Rear end is off the springs. I think what we can do now is take our shackles loose here, drop the springs, and lift the car. Okay, yeah, that's um, it's working. go. So, in theory, I think uh, we just picked the car up now. That looks like enough space to me. Um, will it stay on the jacks? I don't know. In theory, and we can just kind of roll this whole out of there. Uh, of course, the jack is definitely stuck on everything. All right, let's come on down. Oh, 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 too much. Oh, 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 yeah, they're balancing on the pinion now. That's awesome. Who would have thought a eight and a quarter was so well balanced? All right, there we go. See, and out she comes. All right, so eight and a quarter out. Don't mind the random exhaust bits. That's a future project. All right, so eight and three quarter. Definitely did not drop that getting it off of the jack stands over there. You know, it is what it is when you're one person at the moment. But we have got it in position. And I believe we can do reverse of what we did last time. Let's see how it goes. 
going in. Oh, this one's a little heavier. Uh, uh, please don't fall off the jack. Just cooperate. Just briefly. That's all I need. Little cooperation. Okay, we're kind of in the ballpark there. Give her a little scoop this way. Maybe. Maybe we need another jack under the pinion. That would probably be wise. Seems to be working. Sort of. That looks fairly safe. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Well, I'm going to let the car down. And we'll see if we can get these springs back up in their holes. Coming down. Okay, that is looking pretty good, guys. Go ahead and get these bolts back in here, I think. And eight and three quarter will be pretty good. Might have to... Uh, a little bit of adjustment here, but I think we're close. Oh, this will be the fun part, I'm sure. One down. should be pretty close to home. All right, now that we got her in the air, let's see if we can get our axle lined up with our pins without knocking it. Oh, well, that was easy. There she is. We are now ready for some U-bolts. And spring plates, I believe. We can go ahead and get some fresh U bolts here. And luckily, eight and three quarters do use the same diameter axle tubes, so our existing shock mount bottom plates will be just fine. And definitely. Put this on backwards, right? No, 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 don't want it to be backwards. Get those little guys lined up. Get a couple nuts started. The thing pretty squared up here. And ideally, should probably see about the same amount of thread coming out of each one of these U-bolts. And get them nice and square to the axle. I'll torque them to spec. Alrighty guys, axle is mounted. Got some new brakes and hardware and wheel cylinders. Uh, I did have to actually reuse the original brake lines from the eight and a quarter. So I did get some new ones from inline tube. However, it goes way up there on top of the axle tube. That's um, not where it needs to be. So, we had to reuse the old ones. Luckily, they were replaced 20 years ago. They're still in great shape. But, anyway, brakes, check. We just gotta get a master cylinder installed and bleed them out, and I think we'll be in good shape. Alrighty guys, that does it for today. Eight and three quarter axle installed. Everything's tightened up. Got brake shoes on. And uh, brake lines installed, all that good stuff. One thing I did notice taking all this apart is I believe that the shocks that are on this car are too short for the super stock springs. I've heard that stock Dodge truck shocks will probably cure that problem. Let me know in the comments what y'all think. And uh, yeah, 
got lots more to do under the car guys um and we'll uh keep pecking away at it so if you're not make sure you subscribe like and share we'll see you next time